victory. Prince William and Kate Middleton will say, I do, April 29th. Now, yesterday, the couple took part in what were their final public duties before the big day. William and Kate attended the opening of a new school, then visited a park. Now, a few weeks ago, we told you about a local company that designed a figurine that resembles Kate's. Aisha, check back in with the company. What'd you find out? You know, we first introduced you to that Kate Middleton figurine, let's say about a month ago. And since then, as Kate's own popularity has skyrocketed, skyrocketed, so have sales for this particular figure. On the heels of the royal engagement, Kate Middleton is quickly becoming a global icon. And the Hamilton Collection, a local company known all over the world for their figurines, is cashing in. We've actually uh, decided to extend the collection. We've had such great success with it. As she continues to come out um, during their engagement in new outfits. We're, of course, incorporating them into the collection. Adrian Mobley says response to their first Kate figurine in her blue engagement dress has been huge. There's also been a renewed interest in their Princess Diane auction. She, she just had a charisma about her. Um, she really was the people's princess. Now the artists at Hamilton Collection are preparing for Kate's big day. When she walks down the aisle, they'll have their sketch pads ready. According to their research, people in the States are eager to see Kate's wedding dress. In the UK, all the buzz is about her tiara. For women everywhere, the royal wedding will be like a fairy tale. It's a, it's a moment in time. It's a way to celebrate, you know, a truly once-in-a-lifetime event, even on this side of the pond. And Hamilton Collection says it will release Kate's wedding day figurine about a few months after the wedding. Very exciting. So are they going to be are they yes. going to be watching and sketching during the broadcast? Or Absolutely. That, is that and they say that's what they did uh, uh, during the engagement announcement as well. They sketched it that day. Well, you know what? They could be watching it right here on Channel 4. They, they, exactly. They We've got royal wedding coverage <laughs> uh, beginning at 4 a.m. right here on the local station. Also the latest details on the wedding preps on newsforjacks.com. When are they doing a morning show figurine collection? <laughs> I was trying to tell her about that. So I was just trying to get the measurements right. I guess yeah. we have to and be royal. I'm a royal pain. They have yeah. a, that would qualify by me for royal. And the so. skin tone color for Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> that Makes a little that terracotta. That terracotta peach. 546. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Baldy? <laughs> I was going to say it's closer to the bottom of what you find in a Dorito bag. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it is so cheesy. All right, your forecast here for this morning. Closing into Lowndes County, let's go ahead and zoom in for our folks over there near the Valdosta and I-75 corridor. This is Lowndes County here getting back to Eccles. Bremerton, Hira, Lake Park right over top of Bremerton right now. Valdosta, you're probably hearing the pitter-patter off in the distance that Heavier downpour will move right just to the north of Valdosta, continuing to spread to the south. Jennings, Jasper, and eventually here to our I-10 corridor, so that will bring about areas like Live Oak and Lake City. Using the way it's sitting right now, using that speed, we'll go ahead. Actually, let me advance the, um, the map here. Well, that was uh, different. Let's see what we got. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. Using that speed right now from Valdosta to areas of Lake City. Let's go to our tracker here. Click, click. And we'll zoom to the south. Let's see what we find as we move into uh, areas here. So we're looking at about 6, we'll say between 6.30 and as late as getting into 7, 7.15. This is going to be fudged a little bit here because there's not a current continued, there's not a, a consistent speed. Each one of these is moving at different speeds from the east to the west. Trying to extrapolate to the south here, a little iffy, but either way, it looks like it's going to be in the latter half of the 6 into the 7. So for areas around Lake City, and Live Oak, let's go with uh, about 45 minutes to an hour here before you start to see some of that wet weather moving in, at least into the cities proper, not just the counties. We'll have more of this coming up in that wet weather arrival here for the 95 corridor in just about 10 minutes. Aisha's checking those roadways. Oh, wait, we're, are, is this the big weather? It oh. is, but I can definitely check the roadways anyway, starting off with a few drive times there, 9A, 13 minutes from Atlantic Boulevard onto I-95. The Arlington Expressway at five minutes in both directions, east and westbound. 
Now keep in mind the Heart Bridge closed off for about 12 minutes longer for some morning construction there. Be moving about in north northwest Jacksonville 295.